Hello! If you're new here, welcome to Garland Collections. I'm Annabelle and I make like food videos. I make home decor videos and today I'm making a wine video. I still have to go buy the wines. I'm thinking I'm gonna get like four wines. I want them to be summery flavored. I know, can I just say, I know nothing about wines. I'm like the anti-sommelier. I think that's how you say sommelier. I'm gonna put the definition of what this is so that you understand what I'm talking about in case I'm pronouncing it completely wrong, but I am not this at all. I don't know like anything about wine. I'm 23 years old. I don't know that much about wine. I'm only like dipping my toe into this. I don't even like the taste of wine that much, but I'm trying to acquire that taste. I'm so excited to like swirl my little glass and be like mm, it's giving notes of pear and citrus <laughs> wine haul i'm so excited i went to the liquor store i knew i wanted to get a like very inexpensive wine to try to compare to like slightly more expensive wines and i could probably do a whole video on that topic specifically comment down below if you would want me to but i just got this carlos rossi moscato sangria we're gonna see how this holds up along the theme of white wine, I knew I wanted to get a Sauvignon Blanc, a Sauvignon Blanc, a Sauvignon Blanc, because I think that might be one of my favorite wines, although I don't really know. And I got this Wild Song Sauvignon Blanc from Hawke's Bay 2020 Wildflower Vineyard. I don't know what any of this means. It's from New Zealand. And the reason I was convinced was because first of all, the label is giving and the yellow cap, hello. And also because it said it has passion fruit, guava, and lime, and I like all those flavors. So we're just making wise choices, I hope. I got this rosé because in the liquor store it had like a little label with a review, and I was like, the review sounds good. This one is Francis Coppola Diamond Collection, rosé of Pinot Noir. We'll see how this is. Also is cute. And I tend to like rosé, so I don't usually like red wine that much, so I decided to go for something I saw Emily Mariko try on TikTok or Instagram, but I saw her having a red sparkling wine called Lambrusco, and I literally had to ask because I was searching for this Lambrusco and I could not find it in the store. And it was in like a special section. So pretty, love that label. So this is Lambrusca di Modena Biologico, made with organic grapes. It's red sparkling wine and it's organic. So we're gonna see if maybe red sparkling wine is a vibe. My brother is gonna be coming soon. He went out on a boat with his girlfriend and apparently the boat broke down in the middle of the lake they were on. So now they're getting saved i don't know it sounds really dramatic out loud but he didn't sound that dramatic on the phone when he was explaining it so i think it's not that big of a deal but anyway he's gonna be here soon all in one piece hopefully <laughs> so those are the wines that i got so we have two glasses each but this is gonna be our red wine glass and this is gonna be our white wine glass but you know we might freestyle yeah we'll see we'll see how it goes the additional wines that we have to try are this Pirato, oh my god, Caterato Pinot Grigio Terre Siciliane. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. we'll see how that is. That sounds right. Will's boss. Yeah, my my uh, my boss, my manager makes his own wine. So that's um, creepy. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> It's kind of, it'll be kind of the wild card round. Yeah. It's, uh, his name's Drew, so it's Drew's Brew. Drew's Brew. Um, so. Yeah. So we'll see how that is. Do we start yeah. with the cheapest one? This was $3.99. Yeah, 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 yeah. This was $3.99. Let's go, let's, go, let's go up in terms of dollar value. I think that's the most interesting. Okay, I don't remember all the dollar values, but we'll do our best. Okay, okay. I'm not going to pour too much. Just a little taste, a little spritz or anything. Wow, this is very clear. This is the Moscato Sangria. 
It almost looks just like water. And this is $3.99. Cheers. Cheers. Oh my god, that's so sweet. It's almost gross how sweet it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, uh, it's like grape, it just tastes like grape juice. It really yeah, doesn't it taste really... much like wine at all. I think Moscato grapes are known for being sweet. Yeah, it's really it's sweet. Very sweet. And I'm trying to see what the alcohol content is just because I'm curious. Oh, it's very sweet. It is 6.5% alcohol, oh, which is like really lower low. than most IPA beers. Yeah, so that was, you know, we don't hate it, but we don't love no, it. No, I wouldn't buy it, but I would drink more of it. <laughs> I would drink, definitely yeah. drink more of it. Yeah. I also think that would be really good if you were like making the sangria and you were like adding fruit to it. You added a little bit of something else. It could work. And maybe like some sparkling water or something to cut the very sweet. Um, okay, what should we do next? Do you remember the prices of any other ones? This one I think, I think I might say actually. And they didn't give me a receipt, which... This one has a 13% alcohol content. Okay, so it's more, we're this moving is, up the alcohol this spectrum. This is the Wild Song Sauvignon Blanc. I would buy it just for the pretty label. Really cute label. That's how I make all my alcohol oh, purchasing decisions. Same, that's yeah. how I decided, but I also read it has passion fruit, guava, and lime. Yeah, they always lie about that. Just gonna taste like one. We're just gonna yeah. assume that that could be really good. Yeah. This one's also very clear. Mm. I can already. So different. Ooh. It actually does kind of taste like passion fruit. No, it doesn't. I'm getting passion fruit. I'm not. I'm getting <laughs> wine. This one's a lot drier, right? Passion fruit is a very subtle flavor. Uh, yeah, much drier. Much drier. It's not super sweet. No, I actually like this wine. Like, I would buy I this really... wine. I would definitely buy that. Because it's not as, I, I can't really deal with some of the red wines that we're going to try. Same. Um, but we'll try them anyways for your enjoyment. I thought that that was really good actually. Yeah, I would buy that it's one. It's refreshing. It's not super strong. It's not super sour it's sweet. It's cold because it's been refrigerated. I, I like, a, I mostly like white, white wines because they're more refreshing. And, you know, they come from the fridge, which is great. I guess we could try this one next. Here's, this is the... Pinot Grigio Terre Siciliane. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like it, it, uh. Mm. That's a no from me. I don't like that one. That's pretty gross. That actually. can water the grass. <laughs> Let's pour it out on the grass. That honestly tastes like a cleaning product. It tastes bad. It tastes like a cleaning product. <laughs> I didn't even want any more. That tastes like something you use to, like, wash your bathroom and that tasted really gross yeah wouldn't buy um, that. why was it bad yeah it tasted like a cleaning product it just it smelled it didn't smell good no it smelled bad that might prompt me to move to the next glass because i literally <laughs> just want to be as far away from that as okay, possible okay yeah let's go to a different glass and then let's do something sort of non non yeah something like that rosé uh-huh this is the because that will coppola rosé oh, it's it a has very like... pretty pretty bottle and it's a really pretty color for a rosé i think not that i know it's... what that means no, but it's kind of pale and pink. I don't know. So we're moving on. Goodbye to this glass because yeah, it has been tarnished. And we're really going to hope for the best. Yeah. Oh, that's a nice color. Oh, you're right. It's very lightly colored. It's not super um, dark. Yeah. Mm. That one's very meh for me. It's like... Yeah, the word, the word I was going to use was uninspired. Mm hmm It's rosé. It's just run-of-the-mill. Yeah. It's drinkable. Yeah, like you could be happy with it. But it's not like, mmm. No. It's like, eh. I don't know how much that was, but sometimes I think it's better to spend a little bit more on your rosé. This was like $11, I think. Yeah, I think you can see you start getting a good rosé at like $16. Like, I would say I even like this $3.99 one better than yes. that one. Yeah. You know? We're gonna pop this in a safe place. Yeah, in a safe direction. Here it goes. Ooh. Oh! Wow. Oh wow! Whoa. Oh wow! It's and this is an organic wine, by the way. This is like dark as night. Like you can't. This is dark. Looks like a. Uh, what does this say? It almost looks like the kind of wine like a vampire would. This is vampire wine. Vampire it's kind wine. of purple. Yeah, it's like purple. Cheers. Cheers. Instantly much smellier. It's a very yeah, smelly very wine. strong smell. Yeah, but it actually tastes kind of good. No, it's actually very subtle. It smells like it's gonna taste like like it smells like it's gonna kick you in the face with yeah, flavor. Yeah, with big wine flavor. But it doesn't. No, it's very nice. It's actually pretty acidic, and it's not it's super acidic. bubbly. 
No, I like the level of bubble. Yeah, it's gentle bubble. Yeah, it's not like having a polar seltzer where you're like, oh god. No, but it brings up the like, I feel like red wine for me, it's usually just like, oh. Yeah, it's, it's gross. Red I red feel wine's like, gross. I just don't love red wine, but this makes it feel like elevated and more drinkable and way more summery. It feels fancy oh. too. It does feel fancy. It feels fancy. It feels super fancy. Anytime you have red wine in a glass, it feels kind of fancy. Mm hmm And like, look at that color. You can't help but feel fancy. Yeah. That, that one was, good. I think, $15. Really? Maybe $14.99. If you said I paid $40 for that, I'd be like, oh, that makes sense. Right? The fact that I'm feeling the alcohol when I've literally had, like, five sips of wine. We're back with a wine bottle opener. And Drew's Brew. Drew's Brew. Which has no label. scared of. <laughs> has no label. He told me the story of how they put labels on it initially, um, but they like to reuse the bottles. He and his, either his father-in-law or his own father, and then his best friend from college all make them. And uh, I thought it was like a small operation, but no, his fa either his father or father-in-law's entire garage is uh, dedicated to winemaking. They make about 300 bottles of wine a year. Which is crazy. Which is crazy. And they used to label them all, and uh, one of them is a graphic designer as well, so they had all oh these really God. cool labels but then they reuse they try to reuse the bottles so I'll probably ask for this back at some point what that means is they had to clean off the labels off of every single oh, one because wow. they wash the bottles um and it just gets all gluey and gross how to do this oh yeah it just comes out open Whoa. oh splish splash <laughs> <laughs> oh that's a different one that is different. The ones that we've had so far have been more summery wines. It's very bright. Um, and this one has more of a... It's very mellow. Yeah. It, it's like almost autumn or... Autumnal almost. or like a winter one. Yeah. It's not quite like spicy, like I expect a winter one to be. No. Um, it's warm though, I guess. Well, it was in my backpack, so... No, I mean the flavor. <laughs> oh. <laughs> <laughs> no, I actually like that. It's a lot better than I thought it was gonna be. I thought I was gonna, I thought, to be honest, Drew, if you're watching, I thought I wasn't <laughs> gonna like it at all, because I don't usually like wine very much. I actually like it. Let's start at the bottom. Your worst. Uh, bottom, <laughs> bottom is this. Um, Paracho. Don't buy that. The Pinot Grigio. It's bad. Normally like rosé, but. Wasn't your favorite rosé. No, this I don't like. <laughs> <laughs> I wouldn't buy that. Then it'll, it'll be the, Moscato grape sangria. Grape juice. Is it? Grape juice. Yum yum. Yeah, because it's like it's pretty inoffensive, uh, yeah. but also not very good. I think I want to put this in because it's like a little bit about me. I like white wine, but I really like the like more like dessert wines. I think like Rieslings. Oh, like fruitier. Like fruitier, sweet. sweet, a little sweeter, sort of like desserty wines. Like sort of like basically like the twenty dollar versions of this. Yeah. Right, yeah. is basically what I like. Um, and sparkling is good too. Um, and so this sort of, for me, the Sauvignon Blanc is like almost that, but not quite. Yeah. Um, and so ranks in that third spot. And then second actually is gonna be Drew's wine. I, I liked it more than I thought I would. Wow. Um, it's pretty mellow. I sort of wanna like it for two reasons. One, Drew's my manager. And then two, because <laughs> I kind of wanna be, I wanna be able to like red wine. At least, or at yeah. least have a passing relationship with it as opposed to being like, that's gross. Yeah. It's basically like drinking garbage, yeah. rubbing alcohol, and I don't like it. Surprising me the most is I actually like this the most, the uh, sparkling red wine. wine. That's my favorite. One, I think one because the flavor is nice, and two because I just like the mouthfeel of the sparkling. Yeah, it's, it's really just kind of nice. like, I don't know, it just feels like it just is fun. I'm, I'm a little surprised. Mine are going to be a little different. Oh, really? So bottom. for me, obviously the bottom, we're starting with this Pirato. It's bad. Cancel it permanently. Yeah. That's what... <laughs> <laughs> Don't keep selling that. Or maybe someone likes it. No, it's garbage. Second to the bottom, I still don't feel like I'm a big okay. red wine drinker. This to me was like non-offensive. Let me try this again, actually. Okay, for me, these are really close because this red wine and this rosé would not be my first choice. But at the same time, they're both drinkable, which honestly, as someone who doesn't... I like wine, but I there are a lot of wines I've met that I didn't like. And this rosé is a little better than this red wine for me. I also just like rosé better. Next up, Moscato, because honestly, I liked it better than the rosé. And then for me, second would probably be this, because I really liked it and I definitely would drink this. Yeah, 
So it is pretty good. It's good. And then number one would definitely be this. The Red. It's just yeah, really it's very good. good. And I also love the label. Like, this is number one for many reasons. Yeah. I want to do another, uh, just a little quick comparison again between the, the Sauvignon Blanc and then so Drew's he, wine. Yeah, he's comparing this one to, to Drew's to wine, Drew's wine yeah. the label list. So this is Drew's wine. Yeah. Sauvignon Blanc. Because Drew's wine, it's nice, but I think I just have a bias towards... I have a bit of a bias towards um, chilled beverages. Yeah. No, you, so here it is. I would drink more of the white wine. Okay. Because it's chilled and it's hot out and I just like cold beverages in general. If I were to actually go, I actually like the flavor more of okay. Drew's wine. So I would actually, like, uh, again, I probably would take a while to go through, to get through a bottle of it, but I like but it. But you enjoy it I like more. the flavor more, yeah. I'm gonna have a little bit more of this just to top us off. Ooh, and I love the bubble. Like, look, it gets yeah, this little very, bubble pretty. layer. It's it really is so, pretty. Let's do a little uh, um, color comparison color between comparison. Drew's and then that. I'm doing the swoosh thing. It's giving sommelier. But look at that. Maybe it doesn't. Maybe it's not coming up on camera. But no, it is. That's so much more red. See how kind of red that is, and, and it's then do clearer. yours. This is almost opaque. It looks almost like a, like coffee or like a like a yeah like a coffee liqueur or something like that. It's so opaque. It tastes so different than really anything I've ever had, actually. Yeah, actually, I really like Drew's wine. Most other red wines that I've had before, again, I haven't had that much red wine because I've avoided it like the plague. It has this like real sort of bitter kind of acrid aftertaste that sort of just sits in your mouth. I don't know if that's the tannins or uh, I'm just saying wine words, but... <laughs> I don't know anything <laughs> you just said. <laughs> I think tannins is the thing. I don't know what that is. But this is very, has a very soft like aftertaste and finish. It does. That is one thing I really like about Drew's wine is it's soft. Mm -hmm. This it's is soft. like, to me, tastes kind of like berry-ish. Or maybe it? it's just the color. I think it's just the color, but maybe. The color can convince me of anything. Yeah, the color and the label convince me of anything. Yeah, the label also has kind of a berry vibe. I'm really glad. Whoa. Yeah, it's very fruity. Yeah. It is kind of berry-like. Okay, that's what I thought. So high, high ratings overall. Not um, many flops except for that. No, that's a, the, what is it, the Pirato? This Pirato. Pina, yeah, total flop. Um, Major flop. If you see that in your local liquor store or grocery Avoid. store, depending on where you are. Pirato I think Pinot Grigio specifically. You'll be, you'll be doing the store owner a favor by just like smashing that on the ground. Because it's... <laughs> and other It's basically stuff. floor cleaner, so you know. It tastes so bad. <laughs> it's so bad. <laughs> Well, thanks for watching and make sure you subscribe if you liked this video. Bye. Bye.